get to it. Little niggas don't get sassy. I promise I'll spank you. Teach you a lesson. For those that don't know you shall, I am the truth. I need cheddar, I need Swiss, I need Havarti I need Havarti I spit some fragrance, it's some jewelry on my body Body, I don't wanna drink no more, I'm ready to party Like that shit, I pop that jigger, get retarded Get retarded, I ain't shit on them yet, nigga, I'm just farting This shit come easy to me, nigga, I just started I just started, I'm a rockstar like Tom Petty, I'm free falling Like Tom Petty, I was fucked up yesterday, today I'm balling I love the hustle, I can't help it, she keep calling She keep calling, get in the mirror, tell myself, boy, they can't stop you they can't stop. This shit is genuine, I think I do it Yeah, motherfucking diamond vibes With your man Poet, my co-host, Henry Panic Sergio behind the board We yeah. have a special guest tonight We got Fabe Hall in the building Fabe, you ready for this, man? Yeah, I'm ready for it, I'm ready for it You sure? I think I am. I, I don't am. know, man. We're gonna we're gonna pressure you a little bit. That's cool. I like pressure. All right, good. I like that. We're gonna play all of his new music right now. We're gonna find out everything about Fabe Hall. But first, how we start off every Diamond Vibe show, Sergio. Can you do this, man? Uh, I'm working on it right now. Can you fucking do this? What was his time last, Henry? He right. says nine thirty. I don't. I think it was. It was I really feel like it was eight something. It was nine. Uh, it was surprisingly quick. I remember. Yeah, that. I, trust me. It was. It was. It was nine. So, it was definitely eight something. We're gonna have to you, run it back. I don't know, Somebody we're gonna, back there. You know what? You got the phone right there. Go ahead. All right. Look so at, check a, this look out. at the previous check, check. episode. Julie Bible over at the Pegasus Liquor Store got very upset with us last week that we went to another competitor. So tonight we're gonna go to Pegasus and we're gonna buy out all their fucking trulies. And if Sergio beats the time, I'm going to give him a $25 incentive. There's no way I'm going to be able to beat the time. And I hope that everybody out there... I'm going a whole block further. That's speed. I don't know, man. uh, I'm not... Okay. But if if all of our listeners... So my freedom is worth $20. Yeah. (laughs) Well, you put your cash app up there, so... Oh, yeah. Anybody that wants to donate, there it is. It's right there on the screen. So after our beer run, we're going to find out everything about Fabe Hall, play some of his music, talk him up a little bit. Hold on. Let me get the link ready because I'm still... Let me give some shout outs. Fucking Henry hates this. (laughs) There you go. Hey, what? You hate the shout out thing. Oh, you said all... every five minutes I do a shout out. You do. It's fucking annoying as shit, dude. It's man. our listeners on fucking yeah. He's, our live he's saying what's up to the listeners, right, unless it's like what Heather fuck, bro? or Rick. You know, unless they're a regular right, listener. There it is. All right, you, you fifty dollar you... bill. Everybody see it? Oh, he cuts me. He does this all the time. It's abusive. It fifty dollars worth of truly. Yeah. Say hi uh, to uh, Jeanette over shout there. Shout out to Jeanette. Hopefully, does she even know that I'm coming? No. Somebody, yo, anybody what? that's tuned in we right now. We don't even have the live feed up here, Serge, so we can't even, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's right, that's right. Can't even see what you're doing. I'm, doing. I'm doing 15 different things at once. But anybody that's tuned in right now, hit up Jeanette at Pegasus. Tell her to get $50 worth of Truly ready so that way we can cut back on my time. Because mm-hmm. I'm already going a block further. So we got to make this So happen. do you want me to say hi instead of shout out, Henry? Is that how it works? I, mean, I guess. Yeah, that's that'll be fun. Hi to Maria in the chat. Hi, um, Diana. Hi to uh, Clyde. Hi to Marley. Hi to Heather, our number one fan. Hi to Lisa. Anybody else? Anyone else? Lisa Cart? No, Lisa, the girl that got upset with me about the dog thing. Remember that? The girl that got bit by a dog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. (laughs) What I (laughs) miss. You're a uh, fucking dick. <laughs> wow, what'd you do, Poet? <laughs> he so this girl Uh-oh. had an accident with a aunt with a dog, and I guess Poet used to make fun of her. <laughs> Imagine that, <laughs> Poet making fun of somebody. Dirty D is watching right now. <laughs> Turn your volume down, bro. No, I'm show. trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 That's on a lag. <laughs> so. Can you shut your fucking volume I'm trying, off, dude? I'm trying to figure this out, man. I'm trying to figure out what his time was. I can't figure it out. Fuck it. All right. So if I anybody tried. has any questions for Fabe Hall, please post oh, them in I the comments. I'll get to it. it. For the first? Yeah. Oh, this was a word. All right. All right so ahead. this is our alcohol run, how we start off every show, Fabe. Okay. Just a second. Let me get one 
thing. Are you on the Truly tip? You, you drink Truly? Yeah. You, you gonna drink yeah. some Trulys yeah, with us? Truly. All right, yeah, cool. What are you doing, man? What's going on? What, what is going on over there? So something's happening. No, something's I'm happening. Putting, I'm putting me on the screen. Can I put me on the screen? Uh, uh, can I put me on the screen? Uh, go ahead. I, I, I'm waiting. Can I'm waiting. Can I put me on the screen? I'm waiting. So we uh, we started a little late tonight, so we're going to be running a little over 9 o'clock, so stay tuned for that. You're going to tell me to stay tuned. Because <laughs> you know we get crazy after the 8 o'clock hour. That's when we get really fucking lit, because we got a little buzz going. We don't give a fuck at that point. Mm-hmm. I have Serge roll a blunt of tobacco. Yeah, tobacco. Tobacco. Mm-hmm. So is everyone excited for the Fabe Hall interview? You are. You're excited for it. Uh, you excited for it? Oh, timer. We need a timer. You ready? Now the precious, not yet, not yet. Let me just breathe a little quick. <laughs> I'm setting the time now. This is setting the time because now we're going to go. with Pegasus. Here we go. So wait for it, wait, wait for it. We got a lot of people watching already. Check this yeah, shit. we do. We're the highest rated motherfucking show on this goddamn right. network. You all see what it looks like? <laughs> we are too, man. We the shit. Ain't nobody yeah, can beat us. Nice setup. All right. Ain't nobody so can beat us. Beat ready? Wait, and, sure and... Let me get my keys first. Let me get my keys in hand because I'm not trying to. Oh, All right. here we go. 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 And he's off. Go. What do you think about this uh, this alcohol run? I think it's good. I think it's clever. Really. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. You know, people like. So it's Fabian. Uh, is it Fabian or Fab? Or well, his what artist name. Yeah, it's my, my name is Fabian, but right. I go by Fabian. Okay. Yeah. Here he goes. Look at him. He's motherfucking running. Oh, he out of there. He, he's ready for that shit. He's serious yeah. about this. What? So, Fabe, you're a uh, rapper? What's what's up here, man? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I, I guess. Yeah, I see most of like artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. But I guess that's what they label as rapper. Does your uh, you're gonna have to speak more into the mic, man? Oh yeah. Does your uh, so is your music mostly rap or hip hop yeah, or is it's, it it's like, like a mixture? Like you know what I'm saying? Is I don't I, I I don't I can't really compare it like to anybody else. But yeah, it's rap, hip hop, a little mixture of both, I guess. All right. So basically, if it has like an urban kind of feel to it, then yeah. okay, right on. So what? Uh, we were just in my truck listening to King A10. I don't know if you're familiar with them. Yeah, they're a metal band, but they got some stuff that's more on the rap side, kind of like, almost like if DMX was in a metal band kind of yeah. stuff, you know, with yeah. that same kind of raspy voice and all that. Right. Uh, and he, he has songs that were kind of almost bluesy or folky. So have, have you mixed with genres like that at all? Or? Yeah, not yet, but I, that's what I really want to get into. Yeah, that's what. Where do you like. think you're going to, like, you think you'll start with jazz or, like? r&b type stuff or what i, think I start with like I, actually i got a friend we supposed to be putting something together he didn't like the heavy metal and stuff so we're just gonna try to make some hey, hey, yo, 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 yo. Uh, be like yeah first. can you hear us oh yeah. shit that light's fucking you up <laughs> yeah that shit, that's a long light too Dude, we finally got it where he's on a live feed so he can hear us and we can hear him. All right, good. How's uh, how's it going there, bud? How's the time looking, Henry? Oh, Jeanette's going to talk your ear 2:30. off. 2.30. Yeah, 2 minutes, 30 seconds. Jeanette's going to talk your ear off, too, so that's going to hold you up. All right. Fabe, do you think that he can beat his time? What was his time before? Nine forty, nine minutes forty mm, seconds. Debatable. Where we at right now? We're at how much? What time we're at right now? Uh, oh, two fifty-five. Two fifty-five. Yeah, he'll beat. It. All right, that's a long ass fucking light too, bro. That's a long light. I think it need to change like now. Yeah, you're gonna be there for a minute. 
Yeah. So if you want to cash app our alcohol engineer beer run, you can check it out at Flow Ohio Radio. He has a cash app ready. What? Oh, did you see this, man? What? Diana said, hopefully we'll, we will be back at the end of June. Can't wait to get out of this fucking state. Yeah, they sold their place. Oh, Dirty D. She's my longtime friend, bro. I've known her. God damn. How long have I known you, girl? 16, 17 years? <laughs> bro, pull the fuck up. Dude, Try to run that out. fucking light, man. He, he made, he made run that motherfucking out. light, bro. Let's see your G. Let's see your fucking gangster. Run that light. Fuck it. Man, that light's killing you right now, bro. That light is fucking killing you. Oh, you're on the move. You're on the move. All right, we're good. I think this is the best part of our show, to be honest. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. We get Sergio really fucking high, and we ask him to drive really fast to get us alcohol. Yeah. Who are you, fucking cop? Alleg- allegedly, allegedly, you allegedly. fucking cop? Allegedly. <laughs> All right, Faith. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah sorry. Oh, so, back, back we, to your question. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I have... Actually, I got a friend. That's, like, be the first time I, you know, drifted off into another genre. But he, he into, like, heavy metal, so we're going to, like, try to put a track together, like, heavy metal. Okay. Yeah, I mean that's kind of like what Will Seth Lord does. Yeah, maybe um, we should hook him up with him. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm all. Yeah. Who's is your friend in a band or? Yeah, he is, but I don't. I can't think of the name. They actually had a uh, show at Pegasus. I oh, definitely. I'll know at least uh, of them. Evan. You know the uh, my business part. Evan Gamble Lewis. No, not Evan. Uh. Not, not, that's the Marston guy. The um, Evan. Um, the white guy that got on stage and rap. Oh, no, nah, he... No. Nah, no. Nah. But he, his band, they, oh. they make... They, they doing good. His band. Maybe I'm confusing with somebody else. Uh. Oh, yeah. You better run in that motherfucking store. Like, they got a nice follow. Five minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah, I, I hope uh, Julie Bible is watching this right now. I'm curious. I'm curious. Oh, there's Brandon. Jeanette. Hey, Jeanette. Yeah, What's up, girl? Evan, if you you are live on the Diamond Vibes band. radio show. I need the name of your band. Yeah, Evan, if you're watching, what's the name of your band, man? Yeah, you need to hurry the fuck up. We need Truly's ASAP. Hey, what's up? We love you. You better hurry up, girl. You better hurry up. We need all that. Hey, fuck you, Jeanette. Yeah, we need that. Hurry up. You're hurting his time right now. You're hurting his time right now. Yeah, get them all. Let's go. You better hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Any of my people watching, I need I need y'all to share this. <coughs> so th- you you guys are gonna be trying to put together a song, or you guys are gonna be joining the band, or oh, uh, just a song, just like me and him, but it's gonna have like that type of vibe. I'm down. I, I always like that man when you have artists that like really they're good in what they do, and then they cross genre. You know what I mean? Like Little Wayne did it, and I wasn't a super fan of his rock project, but like it wasn't terrible. Right. You know, it wasn't. It was, it was cool that he was at least willing to go that far and do something different. You know. Yeah, I think that's the beauty of like music, really. Like, yeah. especially hip hop. Like, you, they can like you can intertwine with any genre of music. Wasn't it a uh, Snoop Dogg and Willie Nelson or something like that? They put on an album together, or they did a song together oh, or some oh, shit. Look what we got. Yo, yeah. yeah, we need all that. Yeah, I think Snoop Dogg and Willie Nelson put out like an album together or some shit. What? What's up? I miss you too. 
Fuck you, Jeanette. <laughs> Henry said, fuck you. Hey, hey, and and don't tip her either. Do not Servants tip her. Do not no, tip her. Servants of the Miss. How much is it? Servants. How much is it? We're live on the radio right now, girl. You're being filmed live on our radio show right now. I need to know the price. How much is the price? Servants. I right, give her all of that. That's her tip. Give her the whole fifty. And you better hurry to fuck back up. Uh, what's the time? What time we have right now? He's not gonna make it. What time? What time? What time? We need a time. Eight minutes fifty seconds. Eight minutes fifty seconds. You're not gonna fucking make it, Sergio. You're not making it. Yeah. That light. All right, so Servants of... Fucker. All right, so Servants of the Mist, that's the name of the band that you're... Right. Is it the whole band that you're working with no, or I'm just the Wal- Evan? Just Evan. Okay. Right now. And what's Evan do? Uh, Evan, he actually helped me with um, promoting at Pegasus. He, um, he's a musician. Is he like their drummer, their guitarist, actually, their bassist? Uh, I want to say bass. Bass? Yeah. Okay. I want to say bass. I All think right. we lost his feed. We might have lost his feed or he dropped his phone. Oh. Yeah, you're not going to make it back in time, man. I think you're already past time. Uh, should we give him an extra minute? Should we give him an extra minute? We're at 9.45 right now. He's not going to get back in a minute. All right, let's give him, let's give him uh, two minutes. No, hey, he said it's a new time because right, Pegasus right, is further. All right. All right. Yeah. But you're, you're going to miss your $25 incentive. So all of our listeners, we have the cash app up for Flow Ohio Radio. So if you want to... If you want to tip, if you want to tip Sergio for doing an amazing job, for getting us alcohol, go ahead, throw a little bit on his cash app. I'm going to throw him twenty bucks when he gets back here, man, because he he did a good job, man. Because Jeanette talked her fucking ear off to you and took her slow ass time to that walk in cooler. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah. He's got a seat. We can't hear you, Serge. We can't hear you. Oh, it's lagging. That's why. <laughs> are you uh, Are you looking at like crossing it into any other genres? Have you spoken to anyone else about like what uh, you're? I haven't spoken with anyone else, but I'm open. Like I just want. I'm ready to network. I think, man. Like I don't. You know what? I never. I never understood why EDM didn't use rappers more. You could put some fucking yeah. R and B artists. You could put some cool hooks and and yeah, uh and EDM. And that it's like they get they get vocals for a song and then they just auto tune the fuck out of it. So it's not even like yeah. a real voice anymore. Yeah, we're gonna get into that with them. We're gonna get into a lot of things. We're gonna dig in deep with Fabe Hall here in a few when some trulies get back to us. Yeah, if they uh oh you you hit the same light again. Oh my god. Actually Can I give a shout out? Can I give some shout out? Evan, your boy's watching. Uh Kim. Kim's watching. Evan, what's up? Kim. <laughs> Jason. Jason. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Yeah, you you want a shout out? <laughs> no, you good? You got high springs, high rock. High springs uh, to watch. Eric. I'll uh, uh shout out myself. Yeah? Yeah. Jacksonville. I haven't killed. I haven't we have uh, we have international that uh, watches our show. We have people from uh-huh. Ireland. Uh, yeah, uh, for uh, our boy Shane Shaman watches from Ireland. We have a lot of uh, international fans. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah we do actually. It's I'm cool. internationally known. International, bro. That's how we do things. Shout out to uh, Sergio's mom. Sergio's mom. She gave birth to that beautiful man. Thank you. Thank Miss you. Miss Sergio's mom. Yeah. If you could only teach your son to, uh, you know. Drive fast. Drive faster. Yeah. And run, you know, bread lights, we could, you know, do something on this show. Yeah. Way to go, Jeanette, by the way, for taking 10 fucking hours yeah, to get three thanks, cases Jeanette, of beer. Jeanette Gonzalez at the Pegasus Liquor Stall, which they are open for business, by the way. Oh, shit. I've never seen that before. What? I've never seen someone, like, I didn't know that was how they, like, tied it up. Was like in a knot like that. Yeah. Damn. All right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Yeah, I uh, actually I'm talking to Gears right now. Or yeah, Henry I Mims is a band. Uh, yeah, called band Gears. Called Gears. It's like alternative rock, um, kind of like Seven Dust type stuff. A little bit edgier than Seven Dust. A little uh, drop tuned, kind of like Corn. So stuff like that. Yeah. So I'm actually talking to them though about like, or I, I kind of hinted to them once before that you know let's see you guys diversify your music sound. And uh, I'm thinking about actually having one of our former guests uh, trying to put them in contact and seeing if they can do something together. Who that? Aria. Really? I, well, I haven't spoken to her yet, but yeah. Wow. Uh, let's let's I think, bring her back on the show. I think she could. I think she could do some cool harmonies for in a in a rock song in a metal song. You know? Can she? That so. that woman has the most amazing fucking voice. Do you know her? Are you are you familiar with her? Oh, yeah, she's she's, mm-hmm. she's on point. Huh? I don't like Rihanna, but she sounds like what Rihanna is supposed to sound like. You know what I mean? So, um, so I think that'd be cool. But I, I appreciate that when artists are like, you know, you're in hip hop and you're willing to go over to metal and, you know, try oh, it out. He's pulling in with our shit. Did anybody cash app like him? More yeah, fuck yeah. you, dude. It's like, it, it, you know, it's like you you learn new ideas from other genres that you can find a way to warp into your genre. Right. You know. So maybe maybe you hear a heavy metal riff, you know, a guitar riff, but you think like, oh man, I could turn that into this beat, you know? Because he was telling me you worked with uh, your producer was a friend of his, right? Right. Actually, yeah. actually, I met. Well, I saw him recording make a, where he did all of it, where he did all of his recording. Yeah, all my recording. No, the studio. Nixon. Yeah. Okay. He made a post. Julie Bible's watching. Julie, check out your feed. He made a post like months ago. And he, you know, sent, uh, basically explaining how good Jed was. Like, he's looking <clears> for somebody to record with. He's a good, uh, good person. Quality, amazing guy, quality. amazing artist. Yeah. So that's actually, I saw his post and I reached out to Jed and I finished the album. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah. That's okay. cool. Jed, um, I know, know, known him since he was a kid. Whenever I was high on the hog in my DJ life, we talked about it one time on the show. Um, he used to always come to my house as a neighborhood that? kid. Yeah, you're fucking. Oh, you're heading on to my time. Uh, Fifteen thirty. Fifteen thirty. Look at that, Julie Bible. Can you look at? Here's your twenty dollar incentive, Sergio. Ooh, I can dig it. Now this is how we get down. At, Tell her, Julie, that on we're going to have to discuss. Show. We're going to have to discuss flavor options. Now yeah. that we've set up this partnership that we haven't just agreed on yet. So. For our guest, Fabe Hall, which one would you like, man? This is which which flavor? I'll take uh, black cherry. Henry, you drink? Which one would you like, sir? Uh, they got a watermelon. You didn't have watermelon. Oh yeah, Appreciate let me get a watermelon. Now we have mango, black cherry, raspberry. Which one? Raspberry. Oh, raspberry. Yeah. I thought that was All right. Watermelon. Okay, so anyways, well, watermelon's a good flavor. Actually, I like one. You gonna have one? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, fellas. That was fun. So Jed Brown, where he recorded all of his music at, was a neighborhood kid. I lived in Clearwater. I owned a house at the time. I was high on the hog on my DJ producing life, and this little neighborhood kid would come over on his bike, and I would let him come hang out with all the adults. And fuck around with all my music equipment that I had at my house. And uh, that that was that. And later on in life, he opened up his own recording studio. And he credits me for giving him that inspiration. Because he said that if it wasn't for me, that he don't know if he would ever got into doing what he's doing. Mm -hmm. So that really meant a lot to me. I mean, I mean, I fuck with Jed. I mean, that's cool as fuck that he would... You don't say that about me, so, and it's awesome that he recorded his album there. Yeah. You know, so it's I very mean, important. You to got the, you found Jed through his Facebook post. Yeah. Too, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Just shot now, Jed saying, "Hey, if you need studio work, holler at my boy." Right on. And you know something about Jed, like he gives that extra. Mm-hmm. You know, like if. Yeah. Like yeah. most places, most engineers, most people that you know do recordings in studios, you have to pay for that shit. Fuck yeah, you got to pay for that. Jed That's don't do you... that. Jed will be like, "Yo, this will sound good if I do this to this to this." Blah blah blah. Like he 
puts his fucking time and effort. He really cares about what he's doing. Mm-hmm. And I, dude, I love the guy. Shout out to Jed Brown. This is where I do all my recordings for all the artists I manage. Um, shit, let's play a full song of yours, man. Let's uh, let's get into something here. Let's get into something that you recorded at Jed Brown Studio. Was a lease, took a loss, got back in the week. I'm a varmint, that's a synonym for beast. 50 pack to a key, this an original beat. And I'm original me, me and homie bout to eat. It's the way it should be. I never turn my back on the streets, I just focus more on me. I'm solid, yes, I keep it G. That's the only way to be. X around in the streets All that weak shit I pee Y'all should be more like me Setting the standards Crossing the boundaries I'm glad I found you Taking some chances Making advances Man, I'm enhanced And I'm feeling ants My palms been itching I'm making a killing Over the field I'm in the build I'm steady build I'm about to inflate About to increase Back on my feet My heart in the street Get money then leave I'm playing for keeps Playing for me I play for my people Hey They thought it was sweet I'm not taking no L's Fake not taking defeat You can't run that on me I'm not afraid of no beef Steady rising like yeast I'm bringing hell heat And I'm not here to preach I think women are neat I think she want the meat Fingers right round her obliques Penetrate, take it deep On a nice winter street Agony of defeat I just kick up my feet Sitting back, sipping my tea This a blow out of sweet Setting the standards Crossing the boundaries I'm glad I found you Taking some chances Making advances Man, I'm enhanced And I'm feeling ants My palms been itching I'm making the killing over the field. I'm in the build. I'm steady build. I'm about to inflate. About to increase. Back on my feet. My heart in the street. Hey. All I want is to eat. Get money, then leave. I'm playing for keeps. Playing for me. I play for my people. Hey. They thought it was sweet. Damn. You guys fuck with that song? Fabe, tell us about the song, man. Oh, uh, basically, like it's it's that's like one of, those, one of the moments that like I I found myself. Like that's why I say I think I found me. You know what I'm saying? Because I was going through some, you know, just life. You know right. What I'm saying so, I kind of had to like I got off track for a couple of years, and I had to like buckle down. And you, it was a point in time like a lot of you know you like to uh, point the finger at, like oh this person did me this way. This sure, sure. Did. And a lot of times you got to look at yourself and be like okay. You gonna they probably sleeping good. You gonna let that affect your next move. You know what I'm saying. Right. So you gotta like let stuff go. And I learned that. I learned to let stuff go. A good friend of mine always told me is like, just because you put good energy out and you do something for somebody, when you do it, do it with your heart and don't expect nothing back. You know what I'm saying. So don't, that's don't why expect, you wrote that song. That, yeah, well, it's based, based on that. It's based what was the name that. of the song? I am. And where can you find this at? You can if find people it like on, this song, where can you find it? You can find it on all uh, major, you know, uh, music streams. Uh, Apple title under um, Fabe Hall. Under Fabe Hall, F A B E um, space H A L L. It just pop up. Pretty right. much all of them. So let me ask you, what got you started in this? What made you? Did you wake up one day and go, "Hey, I just want to write songs"? I mean, what got you started in the music industry? Well, actually, like I used to write a, like when I was younger, I, but I never like had really had the opportunity to like, because I grew up, you know, uh, my adolescent years in Gainesville, Florida, so it wasn't like a music school around or nothing like well, that. Gainesville had a really heavy rock scene. Yeah, they did. They they have a heavy rock scene. Yeah, but it wasn't like somewhere like. I didn't know nobody with studios, any of that. Oh, excuse me. I always wanted to like get into music, 
but I never had an opportunity. Mm-hmm. So, so what age are we talking that you started to sure, write like, music? My, probably like sixth grade when I wrote my first one. And I was like, man, I can't, I can't be a rapper, man, because I can't think of no material. And then I thought I got older, I was like, each beat make you feel different. So mm-hmm. you're going to think about something else. And that's how I knew I can do it. Mm-hmm. Now, who were your inspirations? Like, as far as rap, like the... Right, which is any genre of music. Any who, genre who were music? you listening to? Uh, as a sixth grader, who were you listening to? Oh, man, my, my playlist was crazy because uh, sixth grade, well, my, my parents, we traveled a lot, so I I knew, like, a lot of crazy stuff, like, from, like, Bob Marley, Tom Petty, um... I like uh, Elton John. Like I listen to anything that's really? good. Really, Elton John. Yeah. Wow. And my favorite song, Rocket Man. That's my shit. No shit. Yeah. Yeah. I like my my playlist. Crazy man. Well, let's crazy. hear. It. Let's hear what Fade Paul's playlist. Let's hear some more. All right. What, what were you, you listening oh, to oh, oh, in you know. sixth grade? In oh, sixth, sixth grade. grade um, yeah. Well, mainly sp- like the first thing I was like really interested in, of course, was Tupac. Yeah, um, Tupac. Yeah, Tupac, Outkast, uh, Wu Tang. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know I. Pfft, uh, Raekwon, Jizza, Method Man. Actually, that was one of the first ones I uh, album I caught was Method Man, Outkast, and Tupac. What was the first concert you ever went to? First concert I went to was Biggie concert. They hosted it at like uh, I forgot the name of the field. Biggie they, Smalls. Yeah, Biggie Smalls. Really? It, it was like free to the public out in Gainesville. They, they, the UF do it. I can't think of the name of the place it was at, but. Yeah, that was the first Thank one. Yeah, man. I wish I saw Biggie, Biggie for free, oh, man. Shit. I'm kind of <laughs> jealous right now, yeah, man. Yeah. You, you got to see Biggie yeah, I got live? To see Biggie. How was yeah. it? Great. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was great. That's awesome. What year was this, uh, roughly? I can't even remember, man. It was so long ago. And I, I think, was it, I want to say Outkast was there, too. Outkast. I, I saw because I remember seeing them. I feel like that would be wild to see live. Yeah, it was yeah. crazy. Because you don't, you don't look that old, man. So, yeah. do you want to tell people your age? You, you don't uh, have to say it, but <laughs> I mean, I don't care really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm 41. Well, you know you what I'm saying? Age. Yeah, I'm 41. Yeah, I don't care about my age. I like, I'm proud of you know. What's my your age, birthday? Like, uh, 11 30, 1978. Okay, yeah, so I'm, I'm older than you. Yeah, I'm yeah. older than I'm. A, uh, I'm an August baby, yeah. 78. Yeah, yeah, so I, I embrace it. How old you know, are you? A lot of people. 40. Fuck. What? 40, 40 so, zero. Serge, can you pick up his voice? A little bit. It's hard to pick oh, up. I can lean, lean up again. Okay, so this is not your first album, or yeah, is it? it is. Yeah. So what took you this long to release an album? Well, actually, before that, I had a few artists myself. I was I wanted to be like in the back scenes, you know, building people up or whatever. But the, the two artists I had, you know, you know, they got in you know, a situation. They basically, you know, went to jail. So I was like, damn. Um, so you're into managing artists? Yeah, I, I prefer to manage the artists and, you know, okay. like build, you know, I had a uh, Waymaker Entertainment. It's like, a, basically, I was try, well, I still got it. I'm, I'm trying to start my own, you know, own entertainment company. That's how I started out. And then, you know, I got Idol. And um, I was like, I got to do something. And I had music forever, but I never felt comfortable comfortable enough to put it out. That's why when uh, you was talking about speaking of Jed, Right. Uh, that's why I was, you know, nodding my head because mm-hmm. uh, I don't think I would. I probably still wouldn't have music if I didn't meet Jed. Right. And the only reason, like, your artist, like, you, it sound good in your head, and then sure. you record it, you're like, oh man, this shit sound like shit. So I had so much like music. So you and, had a little insecurity. Yeah, I had a lot of insecurity. Yeah, I wasn't confident. You know what I'm saying? But you know, after a while, like, I'm linked up with Jed. I knew I can do it though, mm-hmm. but I still had doubts. I'm human. But I knew I can do it. I linked up with him, and the same thing you said. He's like, if he something don't sound right, he care. He like, yeah, man, he we got to. Won't you try it this way? Or yeah. we should do it this way. And he really take his time. And it's like, when I go record, it's just me and him. Yeah. So we got like a Absolutely. good relationship. Like he mm-hmm. really care about putting the artist in the sky. Because at the end of the day, I think everybody should. Because your name on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he mm-hmm. really care, and I felt so comfortable. Working with them, I just start knocking it out like that, knocking it out. I did that like less than a year. You know, the first time I ever met you, you know, I always got a great vibe from you. You know, whenever you meet someone, you get them vibes, you know what I mean, Henry? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like, man, this guy's a piece of shit, or man, this guy's really fucking dope. And you come, become like immediate best friends. And that's how I felt when I first met him. 
just had this such great vibe, man. There was nothing bad about them, you know, nothing bad about you, in your aura, that. nothing. You know, we vibe, we drank, we fucking had a good time, you know. And it's it's really kind of an honor for me. I don't know about you, Henry, because you're my co-host, but it's really an honor for me to have you on the show, man. I appreciate it. Likewise, yeah, sure. like, you I, know? I was excited about coming. I I, I want to thank y'all for even inviting me. Yeah, of course. We want people on this show with great fucking vibes like you. You know, if anybody has a question for them in our live video chat, please put it I'll up I'll be there. right back. Sorry. Well, yeah, where you going, man? Back. We're about to play another song, man. Well, wait till I get back. Boom. Fuck that. We're going to play without you. <laughs> now, now you don't get to hear it. Yeah. So, Serge, what what'd you think about his uh, first song you played? Your good. honest opinion. Sounded pretty good. Yeah? You like it? Yeah. That's definitely awesome. definitely like the, the beat. The beat was very good. Yeah. Who's your producer? Who produces mo- uh, most of your beats? Uh, Kurt. Cortez Ingram. I call him Captain Kurt. Uh, I've been knowing him since like 2010. We linked up. We kind of like built our sound together. Yeah, maybe yeah. we should get him on the show, yeah, man. Yeah, I was trying to get him to come, but, you know, he worked. But we, he definitely, he should definitely should get him on the show. Every beat you hear on that, he made all my beats. Every last one of them. They're all original. Now, my honest opinion of the last song you played, I felt it was kind of slow. Yeah. So do you have any upbeat tracks? Oh, yeah, I got some upbeat tracks. Yeah? But yeah we have to wait for Henry, okay. you know, because Henry busts my balls. The upbeat, like the most upbeat track, probably like, hey, like, check, please. Uh, I got know about me. Mm-hmm. Like, so what's your what's your mission right now? What my mission? Why are you putting on the music now at forty one? Why didn't you do it earlier? I mean, because like I'm just getting like in my in my opinion, I'm just getting an opportunity. I'm like, I have it. Like, why not? You know right. what I'm saying? I'm happy with what I'm doing. I'm confident with what I'm doing. I think I'm doing okay. You know what I'm saying? Like. And at the end of the day, like, when it's all said and done, and, you know, it's all over with, I don't want to be like, damn, I wish I would have did this. I wish right. I did this. At the end of the day, I'm happy. You know, I'm good. Like, if I don't sell nothing, if I don't, like... So you're I'm, doing this for just peace of mind? Peace of mind. Yeah, peace of mind just to get it done because I know I can do it. And right. I been well, you have a, a you have a strong ago. following. A lot of you know people love you, man. A lot yeah. of people like you. So, ba- yeah, basically it's just something I want to do, like, in life. Like, you want to go back to school, do it. You want to start a business, do it. I remember just a, a couple months ago, you told me, hey, man, I'm about to start this radio show. Yeah. And look look what you got. You're yeah. Start- it's it's fucking amazing, people, right? That's why I fuck with certain individuals. Like, a lot of people, like, say they're going to do something. And then you have people that say they're going to do it and follow through with it. That's what the type of people I like to surround myself around. You didn't Whoa. just talk about it. You do made it. made your first move, and then now you're doing it. And look at so you're here I, now on the exactly. radio show that I talked about. Yeah. <laughs> so let's play another song. All right. We waited for you, Henry. Is that okay with you, Henry? Is that all right with you, Henry? Is it cool if we play another song? My motherfucking show, bitch. You better wait for me. (laughs) (laughs) Can we play the song now? Is that all right? All right. So introduce the song before you play it. What is the song? Know About Me. Oh, by the way, because Dickwad here fucking (laughs) didn't ask, I liked the song. I liked it. Oh, I mean, it was the last did? one. Yeah, I did. So, what'd thing. you like about this song? Well, the the B kind of reminded me of like old MGK, but uh, I don't know why. Because now it's not real. It just reminded me of it for some reason. But I thought it was good. I, I liked it. Your honest opinion? Because you lied. My honest opinion is I liked it. I get on his ass a lot because we had an artist. I'm not going to mention a name, but it was an artist that we had on the show. Henry didn't like the music at all. Right. But he told the artist, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I like that song. Then afterwards, we're driving back home. He's like, dude, <laughs> that fucking shit sucked. I'm like, why do you fucking say that shit, man? It was, he well, you got to, man. Right. Be yourself. Right. Tell him. Because you have a different. All right, well, I legitimately liked your song. Oh, I all right. And he, Thank you. Henry. And the guest Thank was you. an awesome guest. It just, I wasn't crazy about his music. Right. Um, so let's play some upbeat. All right, this is upbeat. So, th- what was the song name again? Called "Know About Me." Know about me. So, after the song, we're gonna find out why he wrote it, his thoughts about the song. So, here you go. Know about me. They don't 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 know about me. What tell them? 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 They don't know about me. I'm 
rocket, I'm solid. With the mic and just drop it. Cadillac, get it poppin'. The pressure, I ain't stopping. About to drop, so go and cop it. Promise, I ain't feeling my own. Can't no one top it. My say, boy, you need to stop it. No blunts, give me a car. Oh man, I'm getting popular. She was normal till she saw swallowing. Born leader, not a follower. Bitches, I don't trust them. I don't trust these niggas neither. Fuck them all, I don't need them. Get on traction, just beat them. They don't know about me. 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 Well, tell them. They don't know about me. Well, tell them. They don't know about me. 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 Well, tell them. 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 They don't know about me. I need Captain Kirk to feed me. Beat these pussies till they bleeding. I need a fix coming feed me. Motivated, but I ain't G. Sucker MCs, I just eat them. Bad babies call me little greedy. Killing growth, I just weed them. Powerhouse, they think I'm cheap. Woman army, don't need no features. Beasting like a creature. Quiet while I'm teaching. Pay close attention, I'm speaking. Stay far away from leeches. Shit, no niggas easy. Hot dog shit feces. Tread niggas to pieces. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. They don't know about me. We were vibing with it. Why'd you cut it? It was by the end of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I I love the song. Um, lyrics were on point. Um, I can see where you're coming from. You want to talk about it? Yeah, I liked the I, the song was good. I, I liked the the way it sounded. I liked your voice and and lyrical content and all that. It, but the hi hat one that I was a drummer for you that doesn't sound like a hi hat, and it, it just. It was strangely mixed in there, in my opinion. Gotcha. So, but otherwise, I thought it was fun. I just I, that one thing caught me early on, and I like couldn't get off of it. And so. while you were, while you were doing whatever, when you walked out the door, or rolled out the door, I was telling him we should get rolled out the door. <laughs> <laughs> rolled out the door. Well, I would say walk, but it's kind of offensive. Oh, so I can't be included in everyday <laughs> normal language, John. <laughs> that is say, correct. I mean. <laughs> Can't yeah, say yeah. I walked to the car. You had to nah, say I rolled to point nah, out that nah. I don't have legs, you fucking homo. <laughs> yeah. Why did you just well, say you don't. he traveled to the bathroom? Yeah, you actually, traveled. Or I just traveled. went to the bathroom. Actually, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I honestly apologize to the gay community. Someone reported one of my posts today. Really? <laughs> yeah, because no one can take a fucking joke anymore. What happened? So, what happened? Uh, you remember the smoking gay campaign thing that yeah. I had? Yeah. Someone Somebody report- reported that. <laughs> what so. the fuck, man? That's fucked up. The internet. Yeah. I think that's like the second time I've been reported. Like, yeah. I, Dude, I get reported for everything I fucking say. You might as well just get a t-shirt that says, yeah. I apologize to the gay community. Yeah, <laughs> I should. I should get a tattoo <laughs> on my neck. <laughs> I support the gays. <laughs> right here. Yeah, there you go. Like, I love everybody. I just like making fun of everybody. Yeah. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. So you didn't like the... The hi hat, yeah. The, the hi hat was really the only thing I, I wasn't crazy about. But I, I want to get his producer on uh, on the show. Who's your? Pro- I'm sorry. Yeah, who's your producer? James Ingram. He go by the name of Captain Kurt. Gotcha. Yeah. Captain. Why do I feel like? Obviously, you might know the, the show, name, but I feel like I feel like I've heard of a producer, Captain Kirk, before. Is he local or? Um, yes. Yeah. But he's not like like I've noticed. Like it's just my producer. Like he haven't produced for anyone else. Oh, okay. I'm not going to give shout outs, but Rick Furious is uh, tuning in right Say now. Say hi so, to Rick Furious. So, hi to Rick Furious. Uh, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? What did you think of the song, Serge? What was your opinion? Uh, you... I got pretzels in my mouth. Hold up. All right, chew it up. Any day l- now, Serge. Listen. What do you guys think about the song in the live chat right now? I'd like to hear your opinion. I thought it was good. The hook was catchy. Yeah? Yeah. I like the beat. I thought the B could have more, but that's not really, you know. Well, it's not him. That's on the producer. So, should we play your number one single right now? Before we move on, in the rap game, all right, so like a band, obviously the band all pretty much counts as one. Yeah. You know, maybe the vocalists and the guitarists always do the lyrics, but pretty much if a band puts out an album, you put you in a song sucks you're gonna be like wow that band song blows mm-hmm. you're not gonna be like oh the guitarist who came up with the riff for it sucks because well you know what i mean so as rappers when you guys have that like how do you 
how do you like divvy up responsibility there? Uh, you man up. They're like, are you just lyrical content and, and vocals? Or? Nah, I'm, I'm like, I got input on everything. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, that follow me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Like, I, you know, it was straight, but I can, you know, I get it. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm just in general for anything, like, yeah, yeah. because I know rap is so producer yeah, heavy now, yeah, so you beat heavy take, now. Like, you can't, it's your artwork, like, right. if you don't like something, hey, can you change that? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I take, you know, full responsibility. Which one, Heather? I don't know what one you're so, talking about. What do you use a producer for then? Just to basically come up with a beat and then yeah, you and him, the and, yeah, he, and he, then he, you and him manipulate it to what well, you actually, like. He right? come up with the beats. And he comes up with the lyrics, then and they go in the studio. Like, I ask him, like, like, what were you thinking when you made the beat? And usually he name them. And I just, like, for some strange reason, we vibe. I leave him the same name. Gotcha. And then I elaborate off of it. Okay. Because I always ask him, like, when you was making the beat, how were you feeling? What were you thinking? Mm-hmm. Like, every time he make a beat, I ask him that. Like, what were you thinking when you made it? And mm-hmm. you name it. I Everything think I, work out. Yeah. Actually, I, I don't want to hear the single off the track i want to hear the song that you're most proud of off the whole album which one is that which one are you the most proud of window pane yeah yeah what what was it about it's it's about um what'd you write it like what was your thoughts at the time relationships yeah are you going through a relationship no 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 i'm good right now i'm you know i'm good i'm good i'm single i'm are you single yeah i'm single man i'm good i'm good all right so why'd you write the song No, because it was like a something i had to get off my chest about a past relationship past relationship and like uh i've never like i'm not good at communicating i'm to a certain extent i'm good at communicating that's how i communicate so if i could have said what i said now that's what i would have said then so that's how I express. Oh, shit. So we're going to get in some feelings right now yeah. on Diamond Vibes radio show. All right, let's play this shit, man. Sure. Like damn, was left in the trance, left in the days. How the hell you be fade? At any rate, ain't nothing but love. It's still my bouquet. I keep to myself. You never know all of the pain that I'm going. If I open my heart, don't you share my secrets and what I be telling you? Don't make me regret all the time that we spent and the hardships we made it through. We didn't work out. But I know that you proud of me Baby, we made it boo hey. I hope that you make it too I wish that we still were cool hey. Everybody play the fool Sometimes Hope you found what you was looking for yeah. Because lady, you're beautiful That's Miss true. all the nasty things I used to do to you I'm tired of these clowns I don't like this place no. Everybody is fake yes. My body and spirit ain't only so much I can take It's too many snakes I just think and create hey. Just get to the ends Doing my kid I can't even pretend can't even lie. I can't even lie I lost my whole grind, lost my whole grind. Try to act like I'm cool Try to act like I'm cool Try to act like I'm fine Inside of me crying Inside of me crying 
I'm hurting deep down, I keep to myself You never know all of the pain that I'm going If I open my heart, don't you share My secrets and what I be telling you Don't make me regret all the time that we spent And our hearts as we made it through We didn't work out But I know that you proud of me Baby, we made it, boo I hope that you make it too I wish that we still were cool Everybody play the fool Sometimes Hope you found what you was looking for yes. Because lady, you're beautiful Miss all the nasty things they used to do to you Damn. Yeah. Dude, that got me in my fucking feelings. Henry Panic, your thoughts? I like the lyrical content of it. I wasn't crazy about the beat. Gotcha. Damn, I you wasn't. hate the producer. It's I don't know. It, it like it went to like this real light, real kind of airy thing. And maybe that was that like your thing cuz you're like I'm airing out some or because you said you were trying to get something off your chest. I yeah, didn't know that's if, like, what, yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. So, like, I guess I prefer the lyrical content. I would have wanted to hear a more, like, harder beat for it. But, I guess, yeah, I mean, it was the, the lyrical content was good. Serge, your thoughts? I like that we all been there. Yeah. I definitely Dude, I, felt that. I was, like, listening to them lyrics. I'm like, fuck. I've been in this man's shoes. <laughs> for real. <laughs> a few fucking times. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I think I've been there once or twice. That's what I'm trying to give off. I feel like people can relate to it. Yeah. Yeah, they can. I mean, definitely. What? Uh, I hear nothing but great things in the chat right now about the songs. People are like, I like them, blah, blah, blah. There you go. Oh, Heather said she liked that last song. She liked it. Shout out to Heather. Thanks, Heather. Shout out to Heather. So where can you find these songs again for all the listeners? Because, Apple, you know, people have... Uh, <laughs> Apple, Spotify, Tidal iHeartRadio, Amazon, YouTube, uh, under Fave Hall, everything under Fave Hall, TikTok. Um, I'm waiting on Pandora to curate or whatever they do their thing, but it'll be on Pandora. How's your TikTok? I, like, I don't have one, man, but I hear there's some funny, funny shit on that. Yeah, it is. I don't. I, I kind of like just download it enough to just check and see if my music was on there. Oh, was yeah, it? I didn't start an account. Yeah. Yeah, it's on there. Oh, shit. I would, hell yeah, man. You need to start singing your own shit on those videos. <laughs> yeah, out, right? yeah, yeah, that's something to think about. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's uh, Honestly, man, Any like, what was the one before they had TikTok and then Snapchat. They, yeah, Snapchat. No, they had <laughs> Vine. Vine, no, yeah. It was, yeah, it was Vine. like... Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Vine. It was after Vine. I forgot what it was called, but... Uh, musically, that's what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, like, that's what, that's what it turned into. I've never heard of that. Yeah, it was called Musical.ly. And musically and turned it, into TikTok. Yeah, it was the same thing where, like, you would sing along to a 10-second clip of a song. And I used to tell bands all the time, I was like, get on this shit. They're like, what? That, that's for kids. I'm like, guess what? 13-year-olds have fucking money, too, man. You know? Yeah, their parents' money. That's why I always tell people, man, like, don't don't alienate your fans unless you're that band and you're taking, like, a stand on something. Mm-hmm. And it ain't even about the money now. It's about the streams. Yeah, you get paid off the streams. The kids probably don't got money, but if they play your song fifteen well, times, they're, they're going to be the ones who are showing up to concerts yeah, yeah, totally, buying exactly, T-shirts and shit because their parents are fucking you know whatever. So their parents will give them money and then they go and buy your merch. I know when I was a kid, man, that was like my entire wardrobe: was band shirts and shit. Yeah, everything I wore, everything I wore. If it didn't have some kind of like edgy band fucking logo on it, I probably didn't wear it. But and stealing from Walmart. I don't think Walmart had allegedly. The band shirts. No DVDs allegedly. Yeah, thank you. Can you uh, anything else you want to fucking share to the world on a live? Where did you go shopping? Hot topic. <laughs> Were you a hot topic <laughs> guy when I was like <laughs> root fourteen, like really, yeah, really young? But out there, yeah, yeah. is he here now? Yeah. Oh shit! We got. F- oh, he's here. Look at that. He What's came in. How, How the hell you know where we, where we at? Just followed the voices. We, we up, need bro? security, bro. <laughs> We don't got we security, security on the Diamond Vibes <laughs> radio show, huh? You're what? What? Oh, boom! Now he could be security. Right, he's uh, he's our official security <laughs> and photographer on the Diamond Vibes radio show. You want a drink? 
White Claw. White Claw. Yeah. We got we got three different flavors. You down? Oh, yeah, I'm down. Well, grab one. Grab one. What's up, man? What's Glad up? you can make it, bro. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. Man. We we finally got the guy in the studio. <laughs> Word. He like creeped in on us. <laughs> the fuck. So introduce who you are. What do you do? Um. My name is Edward. Everybody could call me EJ. Um, I'm a photographer. Okay. Uh, I'm an upcoming photographer at that. Um, it's a passion for me. And it's something I'm really trying to get in and actually move forward within life. So, What kind yeah. of photography do you do? Um, I'm actually open to a lot of things. So I'm trying to do like Do you do porn? Photo. I. <laughs> <That's totally> <laughs> <laughs> I, I I like how you saw my family shit and they're like, do you do porn? Do you take photos of naked people? I do weddings. I do weddings. Porn. But, yeah, I'm on porn. I'm on OnlyFans right now. No, I'm just fucking you up right now. No, no, plug your shit, man. Plug your shit. Dude, how do we let somebody in the office building like that, bro? Hey, we have, we have to have... Uh, dude. But thank what you the? for telling all the people that might want to do us harm that it's yeah, easy. Thanks. It's really well, easy. We have security here now, so... Yeah, yeah fuck with us, bro. You got your D, <laughs> you you got your D license or G um, license? I got my D. I'm going to get my G. There you go. Arm yeah. security, Yeah, fuck too. with us. He'll be yeah, arm fuck with us on the too, Diamond so. Vibes radio show. No, Don't fuck with us. Yeah. With all the COVID-19, they only allowing like a certain amount of people in the classroom, so I have to wait my... Time, yeah, but I want to thank Fabian. It's Fabian, right? Yeah, it's Fabian, yeah, yeah, for allowing me to be here. Um, I met him and his wife. That is not my wife. Oh, <laughs> your wife, <laughs> I'm uh, not me. Oh, my fault, man. <laughs> well, hold on. No, no, I'm single, bro. That was like he did. Nah, he did. He met me. Um, actually, I saw him in Ebor City. All right, talk about okay. it. Yeah, I was with um, a friend of mine, and um, he asked if we want to take a picture, and it's like. Uh, he t- it was like right in the middle of the street in Ebor. I like shit, hell yeah. So he took a picture. He tagged me on Instagram. I got his, you know, um, baby. And you gotta speak. My bad. Him. I got his uh, information, and uh, we linked up. He said, you know, he do photography. I mean, like I said, I like when I go out, man. I try to network. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just course. so happened I, I met him. We linked up. I was like, hey man, I you know got a little interview. You want to come through? And it was last minute. I was like, I text him the address outside. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know what I'm That's cool. So, right up the street. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, that's he, awesome. Yeah, that oh. was my wife. It was a chick I was just dealing with at the time. Oh. Mm-hmm. oh but I am single. Saying? I'm oh. single. I'm single. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dang, nah, you're good. Now. <laughs> nah, you're good. She <laughs> at a time. So do you, do you nah, she was wife material, though. That's probably why he thought that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you want to hire this guy for our security? He might call us out. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> yeah, all right. So yeah. we have to have a disclosure form. Okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. you have to sign it. Let him get the NDA. You see nothing. Yeah, you didn't I got NDA nothing. paperwork. Just, We're good. You just come here, be our hey, security, yeah, and be our though. photographer. Right. Give me a yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> That's fucking great. Yeah. So where can they find you at? Uh, well, y'all can find me on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, my Instagram is wolf underscore photos twenty. Um. No, spell it because people are dumb as fuck out there. So you got to spell it for them. <laughs> That's W O F, me, no, W O L F underscore photo, P H O T O 20, the number 20. Um, you can also find me on Snapchat, Aries 491, and then also Facebook, Prince Edwards. That's P R I N C E, Edwards, E D W A R D S. Little tip to you, man, and any artists watching anybody, you got to be like Faye Paul, where it's all one name, you know, yeah. across all platforms. Okay, and it'll it'll just make you that much easier to find, and this way you can start to build your brand. Okay, uh, so uh, I know you didn't ask for advice, but that no, that'll, that'll, that'll help you out a lot. Because <laughs> no, well, I see bands do that all the time. It's like, nah, man, yeah. you want one tag for. For Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, anything like yeah. the yeah. same tag. For I'm, gonna some, it, I'm gonna force some more advice on you on your Instagram. Don't make it private if you're a photographer. Yeah, man, we gotta see. Oh, that. you oh, you just looked it up. Yeah, I just yeah. looked it up. I'm like, I don't even want to be like, uh, I was ah, look, look, look at, look at pictures and I can't. All right, hold on. I gotta I'll, follow you. 
I wanted to see the porn fucking shoots and all that, man. You yeah, just want to see all the OnlyFans photos you did? Yeah, yeah if you're, you're doing something Faye, for do you have only no, fans because because it, it, it originally uh, did, Hold on. Did, did <laughs> Faye, well, actually, did Faye hold Paul hold on, hold on. start an OnlyFans account? Did he just you? said, I'm actually. Not I did. Oh. Oh, shit. Let me tell you. The only reason I did it because. No, hold up. We got to call that shit out right now. The only reason I did it because some friends like, oh, you know, chicks be posting pictures. So I was just trying to be nosy. Like, oh, you just getting it just to watch. I was being a creep. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just, you know, if, like Didn't I said, a few friends of mine told me about it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, she got these pictures. I'm like, oh, really? So you have naked photos of yourself. No, not, not of me. I don't have any No, he just got an account to I'm watch. I'm trying to look at other people. You just created right? a no, profile. Saying, do you have I one of your other profile? profile. No, I, you know, so you have nothing on your profile? Not, maybe like a picture of my, like my head or something. Like yeah. Nothing else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else, bro. So if you want to check out five. Right, so wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know what I'm saying? Are you meaning to tell me that OnlyFans is kind of like a Facebook where you can add people as friends and then you get to see all their shit? Yeah, but see, the you thing is, subscribe I didn't know is you had to pay. Once I saw that, I was like, oh, oh fuck good. that. No, I, was, yeah, I, I just like, thought it was like I'm a porn Facebook, man. Yeah. I got so excited. No, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's just, just a porn Facebook. It's just you got to pay for it. Wow. Yeah. And once I saw that, I was like, I'm good. Yeah, do you, do you, do you want to send out your Fabe Hall uh, nah, OnlyFans nah, account? Nah, because I'm not on it. That? I'm not uh, on you, it. You done with yeah, it? Yeah. You don't, don't want to upload any pictures for ladies? Nah. Nah. Yo, if you guys want to see a Fabe Hall dick pic tonight, give me up in the comments. $20. Give me up in the comments right now. I will tell Tell yeah, him to personal. make that shit <laughs> fucking. That would be hilarious. That Instagram is unlocked, so it's. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you got to, man. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna be doing stuff for people to, to look at, don't limit yourself by, you know, making it private. All right. Because then they're gonna be like, they're like me. I wouldn't even look after that. Right. So, because my I'm, mine is private because I'm a dickhead and I don't want people <laughs> fucking with me. Well, I, I have well, people out there, and I don't have things that need, people need to see. Yeah, you know? and no. at Watch first it was too. starting to be more of a like a female nudist okay. thing, but yeah, yeah. I lost the female oh, to. Okay, um, okay. I, I stopped talking and dealing with the female that was actually supposed to, you know. So you're new. You're 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 real new to the game. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. So okay. me and her kind of fell out. At, at we probably have under. Oh, I see. We probably have maybe a. I have in the beginning. I have some pictures of her. We just played but a no. song all about that. Um, but not exactly. Oh, we just found the photo. We just found the photo. <laughs> Play, uh, show it for the camera. Oh, he showed the head. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the the head we, got, <laughs> we got the Fade <laughs> Hall photo. Oh, did you go to his OnlyFans? Nah, yeah, that, that was that was no, 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 that wasn't. Wait, the heartbreaking <laughs> song for her? Nah, that wasn't for her. Nah, that wasn't for her. Cute man. Yeah, I told you. That's why why you thought it was my wife. That's my friend. Yeah, yeah. That's your friend? Yeah, she's a good friend of mine. A good friend. I mean, let's be real. No, I'm serious. Good friend. What kind of camera you got? Like what friends. kind of friend? Just friend. Platonic. Which one is it? Platonic. Uh, which one? <laughs> which yeah. one? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's looking at me like you don't believe me. Yeah. Which I one? Don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Nah, believe straight you. up, bro. Yeah, we, we just good friends. I don't know. Friends. What do you think, Henry? You think friend. that's a platonic friend? I don't know. I don't hold my platonic friends around the waist like that. You know <laughs> I mean, what I mean? Not. <laughs> Babe, you lying man. to us on No, I wouldn't lie to y'all like that, man. Feel yeah. free. If you, you, you don't drink tequila. Yeah, no, nah, no. Have you I'm done tequila? Well, well, yeah, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm serious, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm so yeah. serious. Yeah, I promise. So much. She's I, cute I, as fuck. So I, I she, uh, see, Fabe's so always hanging out with all of the baddies, man. I, I just like, I prefer to be around women. And like and not just like sexually. Like I said, like a, I get like... I, I like do successful too. The women, vibes, you know what man. I'm saying? Yeah, the like vibes, they encourage yeah. you. Like women, like uh, in my, you know, from my experience, they yeah, they tend to encourage you quicker than the of course. Male, yeah, you know yeah. yeah. So guys talk so I much. I just shit. like to be around successful women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're evil. As well. yeah. Yeah. Guys are like, oh, you want to do something? Do you have a goal, an accomplishment? You're you suck. Yeah. You're never going to get it. Like, yeah. I don't right. give a fuck, man. So in the live chat, I'm getting uh, somebody wants to hear another song. So probably win it all. Let's uh yeah no, the sing uh, say that. Uh, before you play it, uh, talk about the song before you play it. Oh yeah, when it all is basically like, uh, it's, if you wake up, you know what I'm saying. No matter what you're going through in life, like you still you you still living, you still got a chance to do whatever you're trying to attain in life, like whatever you're trying to pursue, like you know whether it's photography, it's a radio show, whatever. Yeah, that's gonna motivate you. You got so a chance to win it all. It's out there for you. It's on you just to make the move to try to get to where you want to get in life. 
So Win It All is the name of the song? Yeah, Win It All. So you're going to hear it right now, Win It All with Faye Paul. It kind of rhymed. Yeah. I got a shot to win it all. That's right. I got a shot to win it all. Approach this shit just like a contest. These rap guys just another conquest. Make these pussies lie down, take this dick, nigga, I ain't done yet. I'm so in high, fuck around, nigga, catch a contact If I'm not him, nigga, you need to check your contact Every time I sign my name, it'll be on a big contract Yeah, I push these niggas like some contacts Ask these bitches, nigga, I got that comeback Niggas always start your shit, stay ready for comeback Physical specimen, I'm not shying for no contact Yeah, I lock this shit down like a cornerback I move back in my old hood and take my corner back We going to the Super Bowl, guess who the quarterback? We gotta eat, jump on that road and bring a quarterback hey. Pump up the whole thing, nigga, ain't no looking back We headed deep in the fourth quarter with a shot to win it all Okay, yeah No matter what they say you do to me, I got a shot to win it all That's right Come witness me overcome adversity, got a shot to win it all Me overcome adversity, got a shot to win it all. Hey, I grind it, then I crawl. Nigga, I get back up, then I fall. Through it all, I'm standing tall. Once I settle down, nigga, I'm getting off. Making all the plays, Fave Hog on ball. It's just basic fundamentals, they still lost. Executive decisions, I make the calls. All I gotta do is win it, they applaud. The truth, they just some trolls. Hey. I promise I'm a fool, nigga. Uh-uh. With some better than money and gold. I got the power to God, I want control. Ability to take the risk, pussy, nigga, I'm bold. This life I live is heavy, I want the load. Figured out the letters and words, I crack the code. Hey, yeah. No matter what they say you do to me, I got a shot to win it all. That's right. Witness me overcome adversity, got a shot to win it all. Look, no matter what they say you do to me, I got a shot to win it all. Hey, come witness me overcome adversity, got a shot to win it all. Damn, I like that. That shit was fucking hard as fuck. I like shit, that shit. Type of, uh, Dude, we can, we can run that shit back with another song. God damn. Evan, I agree with you. That That's pretty fucking hard, man. That's a good fucking song. Yes, yeah, kind of motivational. Yeah. What would you like best about the song, Henry? Uh, it just hit hard. You know what I mean? It, it, you have the voice where you can you can flow into that uh, that kind of hard step style type stuff. So, Well, our new security uh, <laughs> photographer, what would you think about it? Uh I like it, like I said. I, I really felt like it's inspirational. It's pretty much giving people the idea that you could pretty much. It's got a sky's the limit. So, I appreciate um, it. Oh. That's Serge? What I got from it. I thought it was pretty good. I might have to give it another listen because I was kind of had a business thing going on on the phone. So, I couldn't hear the lyrical content. The beat was good. Way to pay attention. Sorry, yeah, man. Thanks. I got yo, bro. This thing never stops. Ever. Yeah. We Ever. should go on uh, ninety four one. We like should go on ninety four one. Maybe we should put Diamond Vibes over there because our engineer. No, never not if you don't want to do that. Why would you take a step back? <laughs> Who likes to work backwards? <laughs> you know, you know, FM is a dying media, right? They can't even afford you know, to keep their online. Doesn't pay attention. Shout out to, to the us. FM <laughs> network. They can't even keep their online talent because they can't afford it. So they gotta let them all go. <clears throat> FM is a dying oh. media, bro. Who <clears throat> listens to the radio? I don't. Nobody. You Nobody listen listens to, to radio. You the go Diamond to your car, Vibes radio show. You plug really in. Cool you, you listen to podcasts. You plug into your Amazon or your iTunes. You listen or to that. You title. Yeah, or title. You don't listen to nothing on the radio. We got probably like maybe the kids on the way thousand plus listeners right now. Other than that, man, ain't nobody listening to the radio, bro. That'd be so. cool. FM is dead. FM is corporate playlists. But that's a whole Heather other episode. It. She's like, hell yeah, on that song. Good. 
again. No, I thought it was. I thought it was a good song. It was. I enjoyed it. Thanks. What do you else? What else you got for us, man? Oh, let me see what else I got for you. So I was thinking I got died. too. Well, if don't I think. I don't want you to if think. If I bought bro. you a fan, would it run interference on the mics? Depending on where it's at. If it's like this area, yeah, because the mics are there. But because you're I'm thinking about getting, they got you. Know, you're they got a fat motherfucker desktop. and <laughs> wow. sweat a lot. Wow, wow. can he live? Can bro, he be great? Just let him real. be great. Jesus Christ! Just let him be great. Fuck you, bro. Jeez, <laughs> gosh. No, they got this little desktop thing. You need thing. a fan? I seen them at Walmart, like 20 bucks. Only fans? You need the only Like little mini one? air conditioners. You can, you can get like four of them. <laughs> you like the only fans, huh, man? <laughs> <laughs> he needs something. Well, you need a fucking fan? Are you sweating right now? You can get <laughs> oh, it. It's a little stuffy in here. Yeah, every you week. It's comfortable. It is, no, it is. It, it does. No, it's it comfortable. Fun. I like it. Bro, you get cold in like 80 degree weather. Yeah. But look at his size, though. Look how yeah. little you know little what, guy. Bro, like, you you can't even if you would lose some fucking weight, you would. Uh, John, you I have. All your life, I, I just got tested. Like me, okay, you, you got tested for what? For my <laughs> DEXA scans. I have oh, your entire cool. body and muscle in my cool. body. <laughs> you okay? do? Yeah, I believe you it. weigh one forty, right? Yes, I have one forty three. I have one hundred forty pounds of lean muscle mass, mm-hmm. lean body mass of you, just one of you. Yeah, where am I at right now in your body? You're That's the size of his know. muscles. Where am exactly. I at in your body, broke bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to Fabe Hall, man. You guys fucking with this shit right now? Yeah. You guys yeah, like it? I am. I'm loving it. It's a good. All time. of our listeners, are you guys do you have, liking this? Do you, have, do you have other songs like that that kind of hit harder? Hit harder. I got one that I feel like people are sleeping on. Can I play it? It's yeah, called, fuck uh, yeah. Called, Talk about it first. I want you to uh, tell all the fans uh, your mindset. Uh, well, what, what was going through your head? It's called fuck them all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we know his mindset. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. He said, fuck shit, you guys. Like, yeah. I want to make this song. Fuck yeah, them all. Yeah. It's like a uh, song. Flow your radio. Um, yeah, I was thinking, I was just like on some militant shit, man. I was on militant shit. I was like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, psh, fuck them. I'm sure oh, we all it. been there. Yeah, let's do uh, it. Yeah, we all been there. <laughs> fuck everybody. Yo, fuck you guys. <laughs>
some on dude. That's some Rick Ross like shit. Payback, <laughs> like I told you, I can do it. Like type shit. I don't fuck with Rick Ross because oh, I yeah, I feel good. like he stole the name from the real Highway Rick Ross, but right. that's some Rick Ross shit, right? Did there. you say Highway Rick Ross? Yeah, that's the <laughs> uh, that. real. I can't let that slide, bro. That's Freeway, bro. Oh, is freeway, it Freeway? Ricky, freeway, oh, Ricky, bad, bro. Ricky that's Ross. why I had the team. My bad, Inter- Freeway. Richard Fuck. Ross. <laughs> Fuck. My bad. Fuck. Pony Highway, homeboy. I seventy five, Dick. Oh, Shit. For real. <laughs> I fucked up on that one. <laughs> I seventy five, Dick Ross. Yeah. Thanks, I four, Rick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for doing twenty years in prison. Right. Yeah, no, he, he you, no, uh, you know, highway. Yeah, and uh, the real Rick yeah, Ross sued out, him and got and got the rights, so Ricky did, had to change it to Rose. Yeah, Damn. yeah, yeah. He, he had, had to change money it. for that. Bro, you sound good though. Yeah, uh, he had to change. Yeah, I appreciate that. No, it sounds good. How long fuck, you been right? doing this again? Shit, like. Maybe since Two like months, ten, but like I'm just not like really buckling down. <laughs> so what inspired you? Like, from oh, we already went through that shit. Yeah. <laughs> we already went through that one. Oh, okay, yeah. Shit, just, just gotta go, man. Yeah. Henry, you look fat in the video. Wow, I know that's what you're looking. <laughs> wow, bro. Sure, man. Yeah. Let him be great. <laughs> He's gonna, he's I gonna get to live with this fucking He's gonna kick your ass. So I get to hear this shit all fucking yeah, day. Yeah, it's gonna happen. This is gonna boil obvious. over. It will. It then will. you guys it's are gonna, gonna, gonna be fighting. boil over. We're gonna fight and shit. Go. It's gonna oh, be yeah, crazy. I, 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 like I said, man, I, I really actually, appreciate you. This is like. And hey, make sure you get some photos of my dudes. Oh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make sure I get yeah. some photos. Yeah. Uh, right now, yeah. I just got my yeah, my just, battery on the charger. Yeah. But don't take any photos of Henry below the knees. We don't allow that on the show. Yes, sir. Jesus. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that hit me later. What's it like to uh, sleep on my couch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man. You yeah, look right sleeping, right bro. You're going to have to let me know. What's it like sleeping with the dog, man? I, I, I'm curious. Your dog loves me more than you. I mean, it's I love the dog. Dogs are great. I mean, I have no... Hey, if you told me I'll sleep on a couch with a dog, I'm cool with that. You, I'm not hey, sleeping on your couch always. anymore. <laughs> oh, you upgraded yeah, because the last guy was Correct. such a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, you want to talk about that? Right now. We've talked about hey, it. Hey, tell him something. Yeah. For the, I know. The huh? We'll talk about it again. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, I have my dad and I have Yo. my, my girlfriend. She's on uh, live streaming right now with us. Hey, hey what's up, dad and girlfriend? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Good times. We'll be Fabe Hall here. So Fabe, what? Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's Sauron, and then we had Imani Carly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So Fabe, yeah. where do you see yourself in five years? Oh man, I know that's a you know nah, common question, but giving him a job at Publix? You <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> right. But right. if you can, if you can say paper or plastic, that'd be great. But no, no, really, where do you see yourself in your career in, in my five career? years? I mean, in five years, man, I'll be like. I'm, you know, I also, be I'm, I'm also into like, you know, I do, you know, casting calls too from time to time when I, you know, when they call back. So I also do that. Like back room or? No, like just, uh, nah, <laughs> nah, <laughs> fuck, no. Casting <laughs> calls? Nah, like, like, you like, know, like, like, I, 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 really I, I haven't gotten a role yet, like, like in movies, like not even movies. Like sitcom. what kind of movies? Like, a, like, uh, like an extra. I've, I've been an extra. Right. You know what I'm saying? Atlanta, the show Atlanta. Oh, mm-hmm. I love that show. Yeah, I was like, I played like a little, qu- it was quick. Like, you was you on it? No, it was like, yeah, you can see it on the shit, YouTube or whatever, but it was quick. It wasn't nothing like, I'm not. What episode? A, we'll watch it right now. The one, the, the jail I'm scene. Lo- the jail scene. <laughs> what, you were a prisoner? I, no, yeah, I was a dude in jail. I had a Jamaican hat on and shit. I'm trying what? to remember what yeah, was Yeah, I, I was on the phone and shit. It what was real quick. It, it was real quick. For? You know what I'm saying? But I also do casting calls whenever they call back. You know what I'm saying? So, like, in five years, I plan on, like, like having my own entertainment company. I plan on having, my goal is to have a school from K through uh, 12th grade. Um, and it's gonna teach more than just like sports and shit. It's gonna be like technology. I want to like a technical school, um, trade school, all in like from like I said from K through twelve. That's my goal. Maybe like, I say ten years with the school, five years I'd be like you know, I already got my entertainment company. I'm just pushing it myself. I really want to you know grab some artists and you know pull the strings and do it. You know what I'm saying? Just, oh, don't do it. Yeah, lose a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, you know what I'm saying. So like, 
Henry um, Panic and I know how you know, much money I want, I you want will lose in a, uh, fucking with this. Like shit. real estate. Like in five years, I should be straight. You know what I'm saying? I got like I got a play. I'm writing. I got movie scripts. I'm writing. Damn, you know so you're multi. Like, yeah, yeah. Dude, you so, don't just fuck with music. I, you're into I'm, everything. I'm into the you industry. Your hands like, into it all, it all going pots, to get man. together. Like, when you watch movies, they pick a soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? It all tie everything. It all so tie together. So you're you're actually writing a, a yeah. short movie right now? Yeah, yeah. I got, like, three different ones I'm working on. Can we talk about that? Yeah, Can, yeah. yeah. It's called One is called uh, The Bookie. And it's basically my experience, like, going to, to the bookie. But what you have is, like, if you go to a bookie, you have all type of different life forms. You're going to see ex-pro players, doctors. Of <laughs> doctors. course. You're going to see everybody. Guy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. just go to a 9 to 5. And it's basically, like, I take, like, maybe four or five people. And it's kind of like, you know, they live a different life. But it, it all come back in their time together at mm-hmm. some point in the movie. Then I got all the characters within the bookie. You know what I'm saying? Like... That's one. That's so called a, fucking, we have Fabe Hall here, the jack yeah. of all trades, man. Yeah. He does music, like, 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 movies. Yeah, I'm what, just trying. Right. Like, like, so what do you not do? I don't. I hate beats. I don't <laughs> eat beats, man. I, I hate them. I hate beats and working. I guess cars. it's the texture of it. I, I just I hate beats. Other than that, I eat anything. I just hate beats, bro. And um, I don't know, like anything. I can't skate. All right, he can't skateboard. Yeah, I can. but he can write your next short he, film. I can't even roll like the the skate. Like roller right? skates? I can't even do that. Yeah, shit I can't do that shit. I can barely I write a fucking skateboard skate down, down, down. But I'm gonna <laughs> learn before I, you know what I'm saying. That's like one of my. Uh, uh, I gotta learn how to skate. Like yeah, bucket list thing is gonna yeah, be learn how to skate. I, I gotta learn how to skate. I can't skate. Now, this has gotta right be rollerblading, roller used, skating, or can it be we, like skateboard? But either, sh- like rollerblading, like we had a field trip every year. They went to a thing called, it's in Lotcher County, Skate Station. I used to hate that trip because I was the only, everybody riding, you, you know, doing all together. <laughs> yeah. Doing moves and do that shit. I Man, I get pain. up, I'm falling. Boom. I feel you laughing pain. at me and shit. I, like, I just, just can't hugging up on the wall. So when did you yeah. move to Tampa? I moved to Tampa in 2010. 2010. So you've been here for a solid 10 years. A solid 10 years, but I'm just not getting out. But like, you were born and raised in Gainesville? No, correct? actually, I was, well, yeah, 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 I was, I was born in Gainesville. It's tricky, you know what I'm saying? All my siblings were born in, uh, most of them were born in Miami. I was born in Gainesville, but I was raised in Miami, Care City. Then I moved to North Carolina, Salisbury for and, like two years. And what year? Oh, uh, shit. Uh, how old were you when you moved? I moved, I was like, what, fifth grade, maybe fourth grade, fifth grade. So you went to... Salisbury, what state? North, Sal- North Carolina. How did that affect you as a kid? It was it was straight. I From that, going to Miami to some country. No, I'm shit. not gonna lie. It was it was like because like the school that I went to in Miami, like it was like all black school is um, called um, fuck. What's the name of that shit? Golden Glades Elementary. Right. Yeah, Golden Glades Elementary. So when I moved to North Carolina, that was the first time interacting. You know what I'm saying with uh, Caucasians or whatever. Um, How did it affect you? I mean, did, I was straight. Ever... I adapted because oh. I always like my parents raised me well. You know what I'm saying? So like, it was easy. It was different, but right, I didn't see color. You know what I'm saying? Dude, that's beautiful. Yeah, I, didn't I hate that racism. Yeah, shit. yeah, I didn't Dude, see that color. shit. It was just my first time me, man. interacting. Right. So I adapted well. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but I was I was spooked because in that time it was like, who was it? The guy that ran against uh, the. George uh, W. Bush, the first, Jeb. the dad, and, uh, the dad. Uh, was it Mike Dukakis? I have no idea. It's years ago. Yeah, don't talk so. politics. On oh the yeah, show. my bad, bro. <laughs> Fuck politics. But anyway, I was spooked, man. So, I, so tell me how it affected you from going to Miami to some country ass fucking well, North Carolina well, be, shit. Be honest with you, Did I you ever know. have like some like KKK guys? Like that's where I was getting at with the story. You know right. what I'm saying? Because he was running for president. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What? Yeah. Jesus. That was the first what? time I saw uh, the march and shit. Like with oh, my okay. own eyes. Yeah. And I was kind of spooked. I was what, what, fifth grade? I, like, I never saw no shit like that. Right. You know, I saw movies and shit, but they was marching. So I was kind of like that shit kind of like fucked with me freaked you out yeah right? it did because it was my first time experience I didn't even know that shit go to, you know happen you know what I'm saying but you know I, it, it didn't like I wasn't traumatized or nothing. it was like well damn you know what I'm saying but overall Salisbury it was beautiful I, I enjoyed it great weather I got the experience of mm-hmm. snow 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going like to go on a stretch here, shit. Henry. Uh, yeah. So um, it was beautiful. I like North Carolina. I'm going to yeah, go on a stretch. Yeah, my I'm dad a, used to take me to Asheville, Where do you Boone. Live? Where, where uh, were you? I was in Salt. Salisbury, but we had family in Asheville, Salisbury, so we traveled to the mountains. I I got a, I had a good you know upbringing. Is that by like Raleigh or? Oh well, uh, Salisbury is like thirty minutes. I want to say thirty minutes from Charlotte. Okay, close to Raleigh, Concord. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Raleigh's got a really good metal scene. I know really? that. Yeah. Raleigh, Wilmington. My brother just moved out of there from Jacksonville. Right. He's in the military, so he was at Camp Lejeune. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I it was beautiful out there, man. It was Got cool. Got to experience the cool. season changes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't really get, like, forests down here. You get that up there. Yeah. Too, so. so I had a good experience. Yeah, yeah it was a good experience. Can we, uh, can we play another Fabe Hall song? I got to pee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was drinking, man. For you. Yep. Sounds about right. That's right. oh, we'll what wait. we do on this we'll show. All right. Oh, yeah, we'll wait. No, okay. fuck not. You cannot carry the show. I am the str- I am the heterosexual he he on the show. He said he's you can't the carry alpha the show. You're gonna sit here show. with your dumb fucking pothead look. Like uh, I almost wonder if maybe we were to have poet off the show for a second. What if Fabian could actually finish the stories? If I could finish talking? If you wouldn't interrupt someone <laughs> for ten fucking seconds? That's what I do. You a belligerent <laughs> fucking. <laughs> That's what I do. That's the whole fucking show. <laughs> That's the whole fucking show. It's not entertaining. It's it's it is so totally entertaining. It's, 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 what are you talking about? Sergio it's saying it's totally entertaining. entertaining. So I will fight Sergio not? right now. Okay, <laughs> That's not entertaining. It's Nobody not wants entertaining to see that at bullshit. All. I, will, I, I, I will reach over the table, pull you over, and fuck you up. That's a... That's no, a yeah, actually... Right. I would like to see that, actually. What? What? <laughs> Remember that movie, the the hand? Just don't break any microphones. Hand? Right? What was that movie with the hand? I know you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, what that like? Yeah, it's getting yeah, with the hand. About, but yeah. That's what I just experienced right now. So, all right, all right, I'm gonna give you a shot as a radio host, Henry. He said he's gonna put the all show right. in your hands. The show is in your hands. So Holy you crap! To keep it okay. Entertaining, okay? Don't don't, don't lose. Don't listen. drop the ball here. Henry. How many viewers do we got now? We have a lot of viewers right now. I don't want to lose viewers for giving it to you. We should check to see how many viewers there are when he starts and when yeah. you come back. We should do that. See if people it, leave. It would definitely drop off. As soon as I walk out this fucking door, people are like, "Oh, Poet's not there." Oh, I'm on. Done. All right, we'll see. All right, all right. Go take your piss, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, can you play another Fabe Hall song? Go, yeah, all right. Yeah. Which, which one we got? It live. We got it's called It's Nothing. Yeah, It's Nothing, bitch. And basically, it's like, uh, yeah. I, take, uh, I take a piss. It's nothing. It's nothing. Like, I, it's, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> you got to walk by him, too. Yeah, basically, it's nothing new up under the sun. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, people like to brag about money, cars, and all yeah, that exactly. stuff. Yeah, that's Henry. That's get how many girls they get. And that's you. if you listen to the hook, you'll get it. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like it's nothing. It's no big deal. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Mm hmm. I slide because I'm going slide, nigga. I ride because I'm me. That's right. Overcome anything, nigga. All these obstacles. Okay. Nigga, it's nothing. It's not. What's 10 racks between three niggas? Man, it's nothing. Buddy robbed me, but you can't take away my hustle. Come up from a 50 pack, niggas from the muscle. Get back, side nigga, get in that kitchen and I tussle. Big homie, tell me, slow down, homie, you be rushed. I tell I'm hustling for some kush. Just be careful, homie, and watch out for these pussies. You alive, nigga, real niggas keep on push. From the bottom to the top, everybody look. Fave Hall, yeah, he raw, the real one, man, let's book. Seasoned veteran, man, these little niggas rookies. I came, I saw, I conquered, man, it's Getting money is just some paper, man, it's nuts. Fucking bad bitches, just some pussy, man, it's nuts. Throw that shit off the lot with no miles, man, it's nuts. Can't get my hands on anything, but it is nuts. Getting money is just some paper, man, it's nuts. 
fucking bad bitches, just some pussy, man, it's nuts. It's nuts. Throw that shit off the lot with no mouth, man, it's nuts. It's nuts. Can't get my hands on anything, but it is nuts. nuts. Getting money is just some paper, man, it's nuts. Fucking bad bitches, just some pussy, man, it's nuts. It's Throw that shit off the lot with no mouth, man, it's nuts. Hey, man, it's nuts. It's nuts. But it is nuts. We make up all day, turn nothing into some. Oh man, see me get dumb, it go to stun. That sack get hit, nigga, I'm sliding and I'm pumping. Pull a junkie stun, nigga, it's smashing pumpkins. I thought you was a goon, why you run? Watch it, boy, jam my homies up like it was nut. Fuck them Judas ass niggas, I don't get no heroes welcome. Cross the other side, nigga, boy, out your welcome. Red on deck, you can get it, stamp untouched, it's nothing. That shit been put back together, re rock this, nothing. Green chump ass niggas would never be me, it's nothing. Lose it all, get it right back, little buddy, it's nothing. Getting money is just some paper, man, it's nut. Fucking bad bitches, just some pussy, man, it's nut. Throw that shit off the lot with no miles, man, it's nut. Can't get my hands on anything, but it is nut. Getting money is just some paper, man, it's nut. Fucking bad bitches, just some pussy, man, it's nuts. Throw that shit off the lot with no mouth, man, it's nuts. Can't get my hands on anything, but it is nuts. Getting money is just some paper, man, it's nuts. Fucking bad bitches, just some pussy, man, it's nuts. Throw that shit off the lot with no mouth, man, it's nuts. Man, it's nuts. But it is nuts. Yeah. That bass comes down, play. Whenever I. I'm downplaying the glamorous life. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's a big deal. Okay, we all had cars. We all mm -hmm. had money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We all, you know, puck chicks or whatever. It's no big deal. Like, okay, what else? I, I was, like, I, I, I remember when I was in college, I had a lot of friends who were, like, still virgins and shit, and they always made a big deal out of it. I was like, guys, once it happens a couple times, you, you don't, you know what I mean? It's yeah. the same thing with money. Like, I think it's funny that people think more money solves their problems. Right. Like, yeah. Most people who win the lottery, they're broke. What in like five years or something? Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. So that like your money, I could give every person in America a million dollars right now, and most people are going to be broke. Fucking ten months. You know right. what I mean? So okay. people just think that the dumbest shit will solve their problems, I and mean, you're right. Like you said in the song, like it's it's overplayed. Yeah. If anything, it causes yeah. more problems. Yeah. It causes yeah. more I mean, problems, man. Yeah. Yeah. Some of, I've seen some homeless people look like they're the happiest motherfuckers alive. Man. Yeah, you know what I mean. The people who have money, they're always fucking stressed out. They're always pissed off. Like you gotta, you. you gotta know fucking dipshits like John Poe. Who just fucking, <laughs> hey, he did a great job without you. I did. You he did. Fuck, you're terrible. Yeah. You're actually, he should be the. the I guy. should. If you would oh, shut shit. the fuck up every now and then, I could actually talk. You there you fucking go, douche. What are you talking about? I'm a major host on this show. Okay, first off, John. John, you're just because you yeah, intro like just because you introduce to the show doesn't mean you're the fucking major host. I am the major host. You're not the major host. I am the man. No, you're not. <laughs> no. If anything, Sergio has more pull here than that's you. facts. He does. He, he, that's facts. No, that's facts. What he's saying Sergio, is real. Sergio does have major pull. So Sergio, I could slip him a, a grand. I would say, yeah. What? And I'd be like, you need to Easily kick John. You need to kick off the the John Poe from facts. Oh, he would do that. We could put a, a plastic sex doll in that chair, <laughs> <laughs> and the brain power would be about the same. And just a cassette recorder <laughs> with MC Hammer's cassette tape. Please, Hammer, don't hurt him playing, and that would be a higher entertainment value. <laughs> The John uh, poet. Let's laugh it up. I, uh, I think. Uh, let's laugh it up. I think. Yeah. I think no. that'd be a pretty good. Thing. Cool. If you ever have to miss a Monday, that's what we. I'm, I will what we're go doing. to the. I'll, dude, I'll get. Yeah, I'll, get a, I'll get a. I'll get a John. A Donald Trump blow up. Donald, so we can finally have a political episode where there I we go. Everything oh, great. Great. Yeah, you get a lot of views with Donald Trump on the show. As a blow up oh, doll, yeah. you're fucking right. I get a lot of views as Trump. <laughs> Hey, so what I, I miss? Did I, I you like so the loud. song that he played? I was trying to view it yeah, in the bathroom. It was, yeah, Actually, it was good. It was a very good song. Yeah. yeah. Well, what yeah. song was it? It's Dave? nothing. It's nothing. So what's it's the best nothing. song you have for me? I don't know. I think me personally, I think the best song is "Check Please." But I want to play one more for you. This no. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can like, play like, several. Like, like I want to play one like before "Check Please." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go it's ahead. It's called "Made for This." No. Please do. And that's like 
Give us the background on that. The background is like each one of us, like, you know, was born for a reason. You just got to figure it out or whatever. And, um, you know, everybody not going to relate to your life, but whatever life that you live, you was made for that life, if that makes sense. So that's how I came up with Made for This. And it basically like I'm talking, I'm an older guy talking to my younger self. You ready? You're damn right we're ready. Mics are up. What? What am I gonna call you out for? Talk about the song. Talk about the song. I fuck with that song. That's a good song. (laughs) Really good song. (laughs) Talk about the song a little bit. Me? Yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. What was your inspiration on this? Yeah, that was my inspiration. Is like, uh, and when I say it doesn't, well, we don't want to get into politics, but like, it really don't. I don't like whoever is the president. It really doesn't affect me. I feel as far as my livelihood. You get if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's that was the concept behind that, like on the hook or whatever. And it's like, as far as like made for this, like like I said before, every individual is used put here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. your every one story is different. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever you go through in life, you know what I'm saying? You was made for that. You can get through it. It's like it's you. It's your life. You know what I'm saying? Like can't nobody. I can't sit and oh I can sympathize with you and like you know i feel you but i I still haven't walked in your shoes you know what i'm saying so it's more like a respect thing you know what i'm saying like your life you was made for, to be poet you know what i'm saying he's made to be him i'm made to be me he's made to be him and you know so now, henry's so made to be like running down the beach but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> unfortunately that can't happen i guess so. that, well you know i don't want to get into you know religious and all that stuff but <laughs> no it's not it's that's like, not religious um, it's he has no legs he can't Run, oh but his like a person <laughs> like say a person like me, mm-hmm. I, I probably couldn't even t- 
take that. I'm not strong enough for that. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a mind frame. Yes. Yeah, very he's not strong. Like, he's can't not nobody strong walk in his shoes either. because he him. Yeah. You know they what I'm saying? What like they get like you you tough. I might not be tough. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody is for it's for a reason. Yeah. Whatever it may yeah. be. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why I mean. No, I like the song. I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I like I, I like to meet people. Like, Henry you know and I tough though. Converse. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't put myself in your situation, but I can listen and understand and get a better understanding. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I try to carry myself. That's why I fuck with poet. You know yeah. What I'm saying? I fuck it. I had, how they, we came in a meeting with them, you know what I'm saying, trying to get a, a, a night for a club. Like, how the fuck I'm going to know months later I'm at the radio station? Yeah, right. <laughs> That's how mm-hmm. life is, you know what I'm saying? That's why, like, you cool. treat everybody accordingly, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I see a dude on the street, I don't know what he's going to become. I treat him as a human, if that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. No, no, that oh, makes all the sense if I see a dude riding a bike, okay. He riding a bike, but I don't know what his mindset will he be 10 years from now, a day from now, a week that's from now. I've been on the bike before yeah. with no car, no license. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so that's why I don't feel. judge people, you know what I'm saying? I, don't, no, I, I just can't. try to like, you never Henry, know who you're you across, on that if shit. it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? You can't judge anyone. Yeah, you can't. Are you losing? You lose. I judge John all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody does. I'm judging John right now. Nice. Um, good. Because it happens all the time. If you make it to the fucking gym tonight... I'd be very surprised. <laughs> they even oh, yeah, they just did open, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Crunch yeah. closes at yeah. eleven. Oh, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to talk about that real. quick. I like the song though. I want to talk about that real Thank quick. You. My best friend oh, Henry God. Panic. You know he's a gym buff. He's always in the gym. Look at it. He's Swole. buff. He's a buff guy. Captain Swole. So today the gym's open. What does my best friend do all day? Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I slept me most too, of the day. Bro. My yeah, oh, fucking hey, day. Hey, Hurricane uh, Andrew had me on a couch, hey, not uh, out. So I bust his chops. I bust his chops a little bit. I'm like, oh, my best friend, gym's open. Where are you at? You sleeping? He's like, I go late night, so nobody's bothering me. So you're a late night guy. So I can get to the honestly. To the weights. So you better motherfucking go hey, to the gym tonight, bro. Straight, honestly, dude, if I could go at midnight, I would go. I for, I don't know why I like working out. You're a night out guy. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, we'll see. He's like saying was, he's going after the show tonight. When I was when so I lived we will in, see that. when I lived in Fort Lauderdale, I uh, my buddy Chris he had a UFC gym, so I used to go in there and do boxing a couple times a night. He'd give me like the key and the code so I could get in. And uh, <clears throat> I used to go like midnight, one a.m. Dude, I loved it. It was Henry. Are you? Yeah, you know, are, you, are you really going to the gym tonight? Yes, John. Uh, what are you doing tonight? You going with him? What? When, what? No. Then what? What? Arms, core, glutes, and legs. <laughs> you should be there holding the camera. Fuck that! I want to hold the camera when he says legs. I'm like, what? Wow! What kind of leg workout are you doing? Oh, you can still do a doc- a b doctors, a d doctors. You can do glutes. I mean, I still have some legs. He's still got a butt, bro. Yeah. Jeez. I you need. You need. How are you, are you on the leg press machine? How are you doing legs, Henry? Dude, it's a machine. You move your legs in and out. Uh huh. Oh, you're doing that. Yeah. You're doing the the, it's for the your, soccer mom shit. It's. <laughs> Yeah, but it's for your AB and AD doctors. I know you don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know what that fucking because means. Because you're a fucking idiot. But <laughs> I was thinking you were doing like it's leg f- presses. Okay, so say these are your legs, your right. AB no, doctors I and your AD doctors. Film that for real. Here. I want to film you doing this. Can you do that with your fingers again? Can you just... Yeah, I want to film you doing that. With your Jesus. legs. I really want to film that. that. No. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, it's my best friend. I can talk about his like. He's going to kick your ass, dude. Man. You know what? I'm going to be, I'm going to watch. <laughs> I'm going to watch. I know. I, actually, I told John the other night, I was like, dude, I don't, I really don't think I would ever be able to actually fight you. Because I, because you would probably kill would him. Break, no, he yeah, does hand to hand. You would black out. This, yeah. I, I would let me tell you. Fucking let me yeah, tell you something about my co-host Henry just Panic here. Fucking count. Yeah, just count. this just guy. Just this guy out. travels to fucking what Nevada or some bullshit. Arizona. And he, Arizona, and he gets training from fucking uh, Secret Service member. Am I correct? No, he. I got training from the guy who was head of Trump security before Trump 
became president. Right. Do he get so, hand to hand combat that's shit? That's yeah. Yeah. So, do you think I'm really? So why would you even mess with him? Nah, no, I ain't trying to fuck with him. I'm talking shit, but I ain't trying to fuck with my best friend. Yeah, I just signed up. I'm for glad a, he's on my team. Shit. I just signed up for another class on improvised weapons. So that means. Like, oh, so take, yeah, you can take the take thing, this thing and choke jam me it out in with your it. fucking eye. You know what I mean? So how much nah. Do you need a bitch purse? Uh, oh, let's talk about that. I, uh, right now, my max is three fifty. Jesus. Damn. No, now. Can you? All right. Now we'll he probably will be able right to now. Live video chat. Can you do it right now? Probably not. Three fifty. Yeah. No. All right. So that was prior to you being fucking. Corona. Uh. Donuts. No, Uber I ate two fucking powdered donuts because I forgot to buy my dog two. food. <laughs> two. What does it have to do with no, what? No, no, his, Did anybody he, else not hear that? He's trying to lose he's fucking said, weight. I had, lose two, weight. I had two. I had two powdered donuts. He's because trying to lose my weight. dog yeah, I appreciate you, didn't have any food. Really my co-host Henry yeah, Panic is trying to lose weight. If you run. And, and yeah, the fucking up. late night Uber <laughs> eat shit he gets. It's, I'm uh, calling I'm snitching on him. Go with, bro, I'm I am it. snitching the fuck out of you right now. He's worried bro. about your health. So I'm worried. I'm worried about If you health. run out of dog food, you can always just feed your dog's bread. Well, what does that have to do with donuts? You eat they do. Yeah, oh, if you would shut up, donuts. I'd get to it, man. <laughs> and Uber <laughs> the, eats, too. The corner, about store, that. the corner store didn't have bread. Okay. So I was like, the closest thing that was powdered donuts. I was like, all right, I looked it up on my phone. It's like, all right, it's cool. No, you could give Henry. a dog powdered donuts. No. Yeah. Henry Panic. So I no. bought like three. And he ate two of them. Shut the fuck up. The dollar, no. the dollar ones, right? You, I'm, I'm going to hit you. <laughs> For real. But yeah, they had dollar treats and they had, and they had like the dollar fucking. No, yeah, yeah, with like the six dollars. No. So I got him three packs. He did that dog because treats he's and fat I had two of them. Oh, but the you shit. got like the big dog. Yeah, yeah he, he ate the fucking pit bull. Yeah, you'll be fine. Those things eat fucking cars. I'm very concerned about his weight. No, two not. Uber two Uber Eats orders. This dude sees powdered me. donuts. What's this wrong dude, with that? This dude sees me I mean, meal prep everything. He sees me eat the same shit over and over. I'm very he sees concerned. me take fucking medication that helps with this stuff, and he's still running his little fucking cocksucker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> his little fucking cocksucker. His and cock garage. I'm not gonna do shit about that because he knows hand to hand combat. You know? <coughs> Can we hear another Fabe Hall song before we go? Yeah, let's wrap it up with that. How about that? Sounds like okay, a great How about that? Trick, please. So he could beat your ass in the parking lot. Fuck this guy. Up. No. I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta help him load the limp body in the back you of the truck. The, right, you're out. Hey, no, no, you no, must no, be no, a security. No, I did not buy no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I want to see hand to hand come. Hey, Maybe no, I can learn something. Not coming from me. I'm going to Oh, yo, homeboy. Get that shit. I think three shots at the most and he's done. No, you get him one shot. If he hits you three solid shots. Shots. It's nah, one, one shot. You get, you just get one. anybody. Anybody. He <laughs> acts like he's gonna hit me. I'm gonna fall on the ground. If you get, if you get anyone a good shot in the ribs, yeah, you, they're they're fucking. Yeah, if quit, everyone always wants to go for the face. You're yeah. gonna do way more damage hitting someone's ribs or stomach. You're gonna fuck someone yeah, up and hit him in the stomach. Yeah, there you go. You punch someone in the eye. I We appreciate you, Henry Panic, and I will let everybody know next Monday if he went to the gym tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah I, I know how yeah. to fight. Like, you, you're really going do gold downstairs. So, yeah. I was at the crunch at the gym? boxing gym. Crunch, the crunch channel. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna video no, fucking chat. No, yeah, I'm no, gonna no, video no. you yeah. from the yeah. from the glass window, bro. Please don't. So basically, so it's easier to incapacitate weird, somebody by hitting them oh. in the stomach. Or ribs than it well, is. Well, here, here's the, you can get hit in the eye. Like, say you get hit in the eye, you get rocked. Yeah, right? that'll mess you up. And it'll fucking hurt, but you can still, like, stand up. If you get hit real hard in the stomach, it's going to take you a second to stand back up. And in that time, if someone can either, you know, get off, go leave the area, or they can just start pounding on you. Well, like, So you would say really, that's, that's the more you know. <laughs> Nothing? No, sorry. Yeah. No, do that. Sorry, I thought you set that whole thing. Because no, I'm like searching for the sound bite. Like, no, 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 I, I keep I, talking. No, this is going to be out. funny. I promise. This, this will be a bonus for all our listeners on the Diamond Vibes Radio Show. When he goes to the Crunch Fitness later, no. I want to Facebook Live him no. trying to bench something. Is that what you don't? Do? I'm going to do it. Wait, you're not. Oh, you won't be able <laughs> to see. What? Because you won't be able to see where I'm working out. Yeah, he's going to work out. I'm fucking a membership. He's going to get a membership just to video tape Just you. to the, <laughs> for all of our listeners. It's going to happen tonight. <laughs> he talks his big fucking game. Yeah, we're going to see it tonight. If you guys want to see 
my 350 bench. It was kind of sloppy. But if you want to see it, just go to Instagram. Boom. At Henry Panic. It's up there. You know. I, 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 think, I think my 335 oh, is up shit, there, I too. Got, let's close with phone. Fabe Hall. Yeah, let me get you. I got some posters for y'all. Word. Oh, shit. Yeah. We got posters. And I got to bring him another. We, we got plenty of wall gotta, space. Hey. We got posters, shirts, CDs, I'm going to bring some more shirts. Uh, we got all this. Oh, we got shirts? shirts? Yeah, I'm we word. Got I'm going to bring some more shirts. We got too much, uh, we got too much going on right now. Word. Um, you. So you I got the you. size small for poet. What, what, what's the rest? Ah, nah, I'm gonna bring. You know I'm, I got some. I ordered some more. You know what I'm saying? I'm bring the rest of them. Work. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So Thank you, man. You're welcome. For Appreciate you. it. And this is your your full album. Your full length. Yeah, yeah. That's the hard extra. copy. <coughs> no, I just gave it just for, ah. yeah. Boom. And then Where's you got the, a bonus track. Check, at? please. Where's the small at? Okay. I need that small. That's a medium. I got one in the car. You got a small? Yeah, in the car. These are both mediums. That's medium. That's an XL. Oh, huh, that's well, funny. He really is small. You, I was fat. joking, but I'm bringing some more. I bring. I, bring I got you. I, got I was you. really joking. Yeah, that's man. hilarious. That's yours. Yeah, that's God, a small bro. That's not even gonna no, fit on my dick. Small. <laughs> it's medium. I can't wear. Yeah, yeah you medium. can. Why? Medium. I like. I like nah, I, I bring the right size. Just let me know. I got. Fuck you. out of here. You like your shit tight? Here's the medium. Go right, work out. Get it back to you. the fans. That's how, you, that's how you get it tight. Right, anybody in the in the chat right now, if you want a Fabian Hall shirt, Fabe Hall shirt, I will send it to you. You got a website? Uh, no, no, I don't okay. have a website. Do you got a site to go to to for them to get like your merch and your shirts and your no, CD? No, not yet. Yeah, yeah get I'm on gonna get it, bro. On. So yeah, where I can they on. find it at if they wanted a Fabe Hall Facebook, shirt or CD? Facebook. <laughs> message me. All right, right how, how can they find you? Uh, what is it? Fabian Savell. That's Fabian. F A B I A N S A V E L Hall H A L L. Facebook. Message me. I just send it to you. Give me your uh, address or if you're in Tampa local, I bring it to you. Damn. Straight up. Delivery for okay. merch. Our security, I need you back. I'm going to cry. I can't cry. He's going to beat me up. I got you. I got you. I will so, fuck you. So, our, uh, our new security uh, <laughs> for, uh, photographer. I'll shoot you. Plug your shit. Got you. <laughs> I won't shoot you. Where can we find you? Uh, well, y'all can find me really on Instagram at my wolf uh, underscore photo 20. It's a picture of a wolf. Um... I also posted um, my name in the comments also as well. That's where y'all can really awesome. find me at. And thanks for everybody who <laughs> tuned right, so, in. So uh, can we yeah, let's hear another one. Fabe song? Fabe Hall, straight up. Hey, check, Here we please. go. Money maker. Check please, bitch. Hey, man. Get to it. <laughs> Little niggas don't get sassy. I promise I spank. Thank y'all for tuning in. Oh, they don't know you share, I am the truth I need cheddar, I need Swiss, I need Havarti I need Havarti Expensive fragrances and jewelry on my body Body, I don't wanna drink no more, I'm ready to party Like that shit, I'll pop that jigger, get retarded Get retarded, I ain't shit on them yet, nigga, I'm just farting This shit come easy to me, nigga, I just started I just started, I'm a rockstar like Tom Petty, I'm free falling Like Tom Petty I was fucked up yesterday, today I'm ballin' I love the hustle, I can't help it, she keep callin' She keep callin' Look in the mirror, tell myself, boy, they can't stop you they can't stop This you. shit is genuine, authentic, I do it proper do it prop. It's gon' be more money, more problems, I'm Big Papa hey, hey. Pay out my check, please Pay up I'm solely here just to collect fees Pay the man Fave all took off, they can't catch me Pluto boy, you run me on jet skis Go. Don't know why niggas continue to test me, test me. That pussy hole left, now I'm stress free I'm stress free My head down, proceed to clock G's Count up, quit fucking, these niggas not me Hey, time is money, totally focus on my pockets This that petroleum, I took off like a rocket Like a rock, came up street famous, homie Already was popping. On a strong, he introduced me to them choppers. choppers. I got cold hearted, nigga. Now ain't got no feelings. Ain't, no feelings. ain't on this shit, man. I be out here willing, dealing. Willing, dealing. I'm in the street, nigga. I make a killing, make a kill. I hang with businessmen, but they some felons. I got caught up, now she all up in the feelings. All in the feelings. She think I'm slinging dick, man. I be out here chilling. Don't want no bitch, cause I get all up in my feelings. Ain't no more plan, nigga. Now it's back to business. Pay out my check, please. I'm 
I'm solely here just to collect fees. Pay the man. Fade walk to golf, they can't catch me. Pluto boy, you yeah, ride me on jet skis. Go. Don't know why niggas continue to test me. Test me. That pussy hole left now, I'm stress free. My head down, proceed to 